Today I'm working on a Maytag Centennial direct drive washer with a no spin condition. You hear the motor buzzing, no spinning of the bucket. Got a little bit of water still sitting down there. Now before you go and think, oh, it's just a bad motor, let's throw the machine out, let's get a new one. I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to show you how to check if it's a bad motor or not, or if it's something really simple, just using a putty knife. A screwdriver, and that's it. But since we got water down here, I'm going to say drain pump. Unplug the machine. There, stick your putty knife down here. You hear that little click. Push that tab in on each side, get that little click. And it should just come forward and up. I'm gonna pop these guys out. Unplug your lid switch. And your cabinet, ready to come away. We got the cabinet away. Here's your drain pump. We just pop these things up very carefully and just pull that away. Now we can just come here, grab the motor shaft here by hand, and look, we can turn it now. So, definitely something going on with this drain pump. So, now in order to drain this, you know, because you have a bunch of water all up in these pipes here so you can do it do it you know a few different ways you can either drag it outside if that's convenient for you just pull them off you know let the water run out uh, or you can use a, a shallow pan catch a little bit at a time plug it back in so you don't make a huge mess uh, definitely get a bunch of towels you know, shove it under under there uh, or you can get a a bilge pump you know, such as this, you know, you can just pump it all out a little bit of a time into a bucket. But either way, definitely towels. And now we're just going to go ahead and pull these off and see what's clogged up in here. So we got the water drained out. Here's what killed the washer. Bra hook. And take this little piece here. Turns free now. So it should drain right out. There you go. Uh, one last thing before we reconnect it. Um, if you happen to see uh, like signs of water dripping down here, go ahead and replace the whole pump because this seal uh, behind the little input shaft thing here uh, has gone bad and it's, it's just gonna keep dripping on your floor. So if you see that, uh, go ahead and replace it. But this one does not have that, so we're just gonna go ahead and plug it back up, reuse it. Got it all put back together. Plugged up, let's fire it up. There it goes.